as soon as it hit that west gate, this I knew it was like never, no other mob we had seen. Uh, they hit that gate, they immediately tore it apart, they started fighting with the officers and started hitting with the, with the fence that we were trying to secure the Capitol with. That was former Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sun giving his first local TV interview after Wednesday's deadly Capitol attack. Sun says he requested the National Guard days before the protest was planned and told Fox 5's Natalie Rubino the men and women of the Capitol Police are hurting tonight. In his first on camera interview since the attack, former Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sun fought back tears when recalling what his officers went through during Wednesday's Capitol siege. And while he does take partial responsibility for what happened, he did not hold back when placing the blame on the federal government for failure to launch the National Guard. My officers were out there. They were battling hard. They were doing everything they could to protect the Capitol. And we had to go through that. And that's, you know, that's what's concerning. Sunge says after he was denied permission by the Senate and House Sergeant of Arms to request the National Guard Monday, he followed up with the Army five times on Wednesday as rioters stormed the Capitol. I needed boots on the ground, immediate assistance right then and there, helping to form police lines to help secure up the foundation of the United States Capitol building. They were more concerned with the optics. The National Guard did not show up until three hours later, and by then the attack had already become deadly. These officers were fighting. They were fighting for hours to protect that capital. Uh, I saw officers get hit with fire extinguishers, throw, fire extinguishers being thrown at them, poles, uh, various. Uh, they, these people came with baseball bats, metal poles that were they were throwing, it, you know, over and over at the officers. Why weren't there any more Capitol Police officers when we knew we couldn't get the National Guard? There was. Uh, we had as many police, Capitol Police officers as we can put on it. Sun said about 1,400 Capitol Police officers were working that day, and even with other agencies providing backup, it still wasn't enough. But is this something that you prepare for as a force? You know. Guarding the nation's capital? Absolutely, absolutely. We, we we prepare for it all the time. We prepare for you know various events. Uh, again, this was this was something like I've never seen. Do you feel you're unfairly taking the blame for this? As a chief, I wish I could do better. You know, I, I, I take responsibility. I, I really feel bad that my my officers had to go through that. I really feel for the men and women of the department because they're going through a lot right now. You know, you just had the death of Brian Sicknick. You know, Howard. He's a close friend of mine. Um, I really feel for Two Capitol Police officers and four protesters died following Wednesday's riot. I did ask Sund about the video of police officers opening gates for protesters. He said that's under investigation.